praise the lord everybody good afternoon good morning good evening according to your time wherever you are welcome back to this platform i welcome you back in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit yeah today uh i want to say happy sunday and thank you all for everyone that have been that are being with us, that are watching, that are doing the program with us, even those ones that do watch later, that they, they're not able to come live with us. We appreciate you all. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give all the glory, honor, and adoration. We thank you, mighty God, because we are here today again. Worship your holy name. From that last week Sunday to this week to this Sunday, Jehovah Nisses, so many souls has gone, but we are still alive. We are healthy. We thank you. All glory, honor, back to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. How is everything? How are we doing? How are we doing? Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, today we want to quickly, I'm not going to take much of your time because I know everybody is busy and the data. So today I want to quickly talk about um, uh, this miracle. Uh, it's, it's just like uh, a question that I want to ask. That is Christianity all about miracle? Yeah, I sit down, I think about it. Why some of my people, my Christian brothers and sisters, are falling to this victim is because of miracle that they trying to seek from one place to another. Yeah, before I go further, I want to say thank you so much for those of us that are subscribed to our YouTube channel, those ones that follow us on Facebook and like our page, and those ones that uh, follow us on uh, Instagram and um, uh, comment, like those fo those ones that are commenting on uh, YouTube, even Facebook, and those of you that are sending your prayer requests, asking in, uh, in our messenger. We really appreciate you. We thank you. And we are there. You, We are praying with you. Because we have a prayer uh, mountain that we are praying with anybody that wants prayer. That drop their prayer points. And we want to assure you that the Lord is the only one that can do. We can only pray and pray and pray and ask. But God Almighty will make it come to pass. And which I trust and i believe so much which i can hit my hands on my chest that god almighty we answer all our prayer at the right time in the mighty name of jesus don't be in the haste god know the right time to do it thank you yeah i want to talk i want us to talk about this is not just me uh trying to say this this time around i want us to communicate i want us to communicate please um I want you to leave your comments. I want us to interact on the comment section. So do please leave your comments. Is it on YouTube or on um, on uh, Instagram or um, on YouTube, on Instagram and uh, our Facebook? Do leave your comments, please. Uh, why i'm asking this question is because i see that most of um, women out there are the one falling mostly into the this uh, trouble uh, into this calamity problem of uh some pastors that are not on the right path now we forgot that this world is created by god and god created this world with two things good or bad but we human being we don't want to accept the bad parts 
wants everything to be rosy, everything to be good all the time. And it's not possible. Nobody is perfect, only God. You know how he laid the, fun, the foundation. He has made this, he has made this as, um, it's not block. He has made this the way he wanted it to be. Is the earlier we accept it, the earlier we accept it, the better for us because you can't, you can't, you can't deny it. You can't, you can't dodge it. That is the truth. You can't dodge it. The life is good or bad. Good things must happen. Bad things must happen. And let me tell you one thing. Now, if you are going through a lot in life, that means you have. You have a gift. You have this gift from God that's making all the evil eyes that they have seen needs and they are troubling you not for that not to come to pass. For that not to come to pass. So, brothers and sisters, so if you know you are created of this to this world from God Almighty. So you should you should try and accept that this life is good and bad. The earlier you accept it, the the better for everybody. So the earlier we accept, so I'm trying to. The earlier we accept it, the better. Because, yeah, thank God, thank you, Jesus. I'm trying to do the YouTube. Yeah, well, as I as I was saying, this life is made of good and bad. You have to accept it. That is good and bad. It can't be all roses. No, it can't be all roses. So there is time that there will be problem. There is time that there will be good things. So if you are reading your Bible so well, you know, you come across it, that there is time for trouble. And the promises of the Lord with us said, He will be with us, He will protect us, He will guide us. He said it. As long as you are faithful, and you believe in your God. He said in, say it right here in, in Psalm 91, Psalm 91 says, Psalm 91 verse, verse 14 said, The Lord says, he is the one that is talking. The Lord said, I will rescue those who love me. So what you ask yourself, do you love God? Are you serving God in truth? Are you not going to church because of miracle? Because first of all, now let's put ourselves in these shoes i'm i'm a mother now and my child always come for me come to me because of what is gaining what he wants to collect what he wants to receive from me that is when that child is coming he's not coming to say oh i'm going to see my mom how is my mom doing how is he faring let me go and hug my mom. Let me go and show her love. Let me go and be with her. Uh, my sis, my lovely sister, welcome on board. Sister Molaya, you are welcome. Long time. So, that is, if that child is coming like that, you know. Because God knows, God sees, it see into our hearts, not what we say. So, do you ask yourself, first of all, do I really love God? Am I going to church to serve God? Or I'm going to church to receive because of miracle. Or I'm going to church because I'm going through this trouble. Or I'm going to church because I'm hungry. I need food. I'm going to church because I want job. I want God to just provide job for me. Am I going to church? Make yourself, your intention known. Arise in the morning on Sunday. On Sunday. Prepare yourself that you are going to church to meet with your maker. You are going to church to sincerely worship your God. Not for the miracle. Life is not all about miracle. Christianity is not all about miracle. 
He said, he said, seek the, the kingdom of God first and every other thing shall follow. Are you truly seeking the kingdom of God? Are you loving God sincerely from your heart? Are you doing the will of God sincerely? Is your two legs in front of God, in the church of God? I'm talking the church of God, in the presence of God, not the building. In God, the Christ in you, are you sincere with God? Do you genuinely love him because you want to serve him or because you want something from him? He said it here. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in me, in my name. Who trust in his name, God's name. is here. Psalm 91. Verse um, 14. And yeah, 14. He said it. He said, when they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in time of trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Psalm, we are reading today, we are working today with the Psalm 91. 14 to 16. My brothers and sisters, I ask, this that I've said from the book of God Almighty, are you doing it? Do you love God sincerely? Do you believe in his name? Are you worshipping God sincerely from your heart? Not what your pastors say. What the word of God says. What the Lord says we should do. Are you doing it genuinely? Because if you wake up in the morning, you're going to church, you have it in your mind. Oh, I'm looking for a job on Monday. I want to go to, so let me go to church so that God can let me pray in the church. No, go to church with free hearts that you want to go and worship God. You want to meet with your God Almighty. Please note that Christianity is not about miracle, seeking miracle up and down. That is why the miracle we are seeking, the prophecy we are seeking up and down, we didn't put God first. That is why we are falling, especially women. We are running from one church to another. When one small problem happens, we cannot stand on our feet and pray in our own house first before we go out to begin to seek all those things. He said it in Matthew 7 verse 17, knock. He said, knock, the door will be open. Ask. How are you asking him? If you ask God, you stand on your feet, you give yourself prayer and fasting, you pray for God to answer your prayer. He did not pray, but it's that you, you want, we want urgent, urgent, now, 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 fast, fast. God is not a magician. And one thing I want us to believe, to see here, believe, yeah, believe today is when you pray, you are expecting an answer from God, right? God is the almighty God. He knows your tomorrow. He knows the, ne the next one minute. But me and you did not know the next one minute, right? If that thing you are praying for is going to harm you in your future, in the next day, in the next this thing, the Lord won't give you. Put yourself in the shoe. When your son asks you for something, and that thing is asking, is going to do evil, something terrible, that that your son power cannot hold it. Will you give it to him? You will not. So if you cannot even do that to your own son, talk more of God Almighty that loves us from his heart. So always try to leave things in the hands of God. Say it, whenever you pray, let your will be done. Don't be in a haste for anything in life. Because this life 
does not worth it for you to go from one place to another and lose your soul in the cage of satanic pastor, in the cage of evil pastor, or in the name of seeking for solution, or in the name of seeking for prophecy, or in the name of seeking for miracle. Urgent, urgently. It's not, don't lose your soul. Because a lot is going on, we are the end time. If you are closer to your God and you are praying, always ask the spirit of discernment because a lot of things is moving in this whole world. Now, a lot of things is happening. Things that you cannot see. If the Lord open your eyes, we have an inner eyes, and the Lord open your eyes to see what is happening now in the world, you will know, you will sit down one place and continue praying for His grace, His mercy, His love, and forgiveness. You won't be jumping here and there for, for, for one material things, the material things that you cannot go with. But when the Lord said this today, that the hour has come, my daughter, the hour has come, my son, come to the house, come back home. You are not going not with one pain of all the things you acquire in this world. Not one pain. So then why are you running up and down? From one church to another, from one pole to another, from one river to wash your head to another, from one, from one uh, prophecy to another. Why are you seeking up and down what you have not lost? All power belongs to God Almighty. He is the one that will do everything at his own time. And he will do it for you. He will never add any sorrow. So brothers and sisters... I will say we should please try, try to give your life to Christ sincerely from your heart. Seek the kingdom of God first and every other thing shall follow. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't rush yourself. Talk to him. Ask him. It's his word. He has promised you. It's right here in his book. He said you he will protect you. The Lord said, I will rescue those who love me. I'm reading from Psalm 91, verse 14 to 16. He said, The Lord said, I will rescue those who love me. Do you love God? Do you show God love? How do you show God love? Show God love by going, reading his word, giving your time to him, doing his work, visiting the, the poor, visiting the, 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 the sick people and the one in the prison. Do touch people's lives. Do good to people, people that are hungry. Listen to them. Are you doing that? You are doing that. Then you are doing the word of God. Then you are showing love to God. He said, I will protect those who trust in my name. You cannot trust in the name of your pastor or say the God of your And one thing I want us to, to, to realize again, some of us, when we are praying, we are praying, gone are those days, so all those servants of God, that they are sincere, working for God. The calling is sincere from God. That will be calling a hey, God of Abraham. Gone are those days. Don't, now, don't try that i call him the name of the god of my pastor calling their name who do you know the god they serve the god they bow for before they clamp it i think i don't need to be emphasizing on that again because all of us are seeing what is happening i'm not saying good ones are not there some are good ones are there but let the god open your eyes to see the good one before you open your mouth and start saying oh the god of uh, this person the god of my pastor so 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 but don't you have your own God? You are the handmaid of God. You are the, you are the, you are the image of God. God created you, you and me, in his own image. You too, that you are worshiping me now. You have gifts in you. You can talk to God yourself. You can pray by yourself. You have not discovered yourself 
does not mean somebody is better than you. You have not sincerely given yourself to Christ to know whom you are. Where are you in this world? Does not mean you are lesser person. When you give your time to God, God Almighty, give your time to God and kneel down, praying every time, go on a quiet place with God Almighty and always ask Him for His power, for His power, for His anointing, the Spirit to be with you, the Christ in you to manifest, your eyes, inner eyes to be open, to hear, your ears should be open, to hear God. Some of us, when God is talking to us, we are busy doing something else. We don't even care to listen. It comes in this soft word in your ear. It's not loud. Soft word in your ear. When you are in your place of prayer, always listen. Make every environment, everywhere you are, quiet and you will hear him. There's none body in this world that has that, 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 that don't have this inner spirit. That God is not ready to use. That God is not in you to bring out who you are. Because we don't have time to pray. We don't have time to, to, to be with our God. We are always on the road. Then we now see those pastors as our God. We begin to give the glory of God to those pastors. And we begin to worship our pastor. We begin to run after them. And you think God... Will see what you are doing, and he will bless you, and he will do things in your in your. He will do things that you are asking. No, because he say here, he say when we, he say I will protect those who trust in my name. He did not say who trust in the name of their pastor. Mm -mm. And let me tell you one thing: if you are following your pastor blindly, because you didn't know the word of God, that is not an excuse. Because you can read. Open your Bible and study. Please, open your Bible and study. Don't follow blindly because at that time, I keep saying it in every video I'm doing, that time will come, that judgment day will come, that your pastor will stand for himself. You can never even stand for your child. You stand for yourself. You give account of what you have done on this earth. Your pastor will not be the one to give account for what you have done. Your mother will not be the one to give account how you live your life. So therefore, don't think because, okay, this is my pastor. I'm running after my pastor. This is this. I'm running after this. He will save me. And this is no. I'm not saying you should not respect your pastor, but walk with your brain. Open your eye to believe in God, to study his word. Don't be blind to everything that is happening in your surrounding, in where you are worshipping. You don't know what is happening. You are just following, following, following whatever they do, you do with them. No, question things. Understand what you are doing, where you are bounding your head to, who is pouring that oil on your head, who is laying their hands on your head, which hands, that hands, what they have rubbed on the hand before they are laying on your head. You don't know. Stop running after prophecy. Stop running after miracle. It's not, it's, it, it, this is not, it, Christianity is not about miracle. Christianity is not all about prophecy. You even seek the word of God first. Study the word of God first. Believe in that God first. Love him sincerely. Follow his ten commandments. Do what he said you should do. Don't do what he asks you not to do. Like in my last video, I said, give him three months. Stop fornicating, adultery, all those things, lies, stealing, evil, hatred, stop all those things. Follow his ten commandments. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. Love God Almighty. Do the right thing. Worship him in spirit. Sincerely from your heart. Do things that God said we should do. Love your neighbor like yourself and do everything and be praying to God and give him that three months. If he will not do, 
the things he need to do in your life to, for you to move forward for you to be good great person that you want to be that he have created you to be it's because we don't have time we don't seek him anymore we just want prophecy we just want miracle going to meet prophet, a prophet to say hey what is the lord saying about me he wants to know tomorrow that pastor that is even telling you that prophet he don't even know what is the next minute god only show us what he wants us to know know that today it's not everything that men of God see. It's only what he want them to know. Those ones that even see sincerely. I'm not talking about those ones that watch their face that they are seeing and they don't have solution. I'm not talking about that. Those ones that sincerely from God Almighty, the God give them that revelation, he give them that and to pass it on to their servant, to their, to their child, to, 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 to hear, to do something. To do something about it. God sincerely will give it to you. For those ones that sincerely from their hearts trust God and believe God and working for God and they're using the power of God Almighty, He revealed to them. Not even all He revealed to them. So stop seeking prophecy every corner of the world. Don't allow them to use miracle and prophecy and take you to hell. Study your Bible. Believe in your God. Love your God. How do you love your God? Love your neighbor. Anybody that you come in contact with, touch their life in a good way. Make them remember that there's somebody I meet that is a Christian. You don't need to shout up and I'm a Christian. It's the Christ in you, your character that you, you do to people will make them know that you are a Christian. My brothers and sisters, let us stop going after prophecy, miracle, and let us do the will of God. Let us ask God Almighty to let his will be done in our life. Always pray. And because you are praying now, the things you are praying for is not happening now. does not mean God has forgotten you. God has not. I said it earlier. Because he didn't do it for you now, does not mean he doesn't love you. Does not mean he will not do it for you. But he'll do it at the right time. And he will not do what will take your life for timely. And he will not do what will not make you happy. He won't give you what you ask and you go into sorrows again. So he will do it at his own right time and that will perfect your life that you will not go astray. There's one small story I want to say today to build your faith. I was praying with somebody. The person was sick and the Lord, I heard it in my head. I, when I saw the person, I was coming after prayer, I was coming, and the person was throwing up, throwing up, and I was saying, Oh, why again? I was saying that in my mind, and I heard it say, Do you think I cannot heal him? I can heal him, but I don't want to. I asked, Why? He said, because I don't want him to go back to the world. He has given me his soul. I want to take him home. So he won't go back to the world. And I stand, I relax. I say, oh God, why? You see, it's painful. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about my husband. We have prayed, have done everything. But the sickness is still there. And it's bothering me, it's paining me. I'm asking questions. And he said, do you think I cannot heal him? I can heal him. But I don't want, because I want to take him home. He has given me his soul. I don't want him to go back to life. If I should leave him, he will go back to the world. You see how love of God is for you? He don't want your life to be perished. He wants everyone to be saved. 
So if there is something you are asking that that thing will make you to perish, he won't give it to you. So brothers and sisters, stop. Depend on God. Believe him. Love him. Trust in his name. And be prayerful. He will do it for you. And he will not add any sorrow. Stop seeking miracle. Stop seeking what the Lord said. Tomorrow, yesterday, what did the Lord said? No. That is why you are falling into this victim. That is why you are falling into the hands of the wicked one. Stop it. So that you won't perish. Stop it. So you won't regret at the end. The Lord be with us. And protect and guide us. I want to pray for those of us that are looking for fruit of the womb. The Lord said, go to the world and multiply. But when we come to this world, some to multiply is terrible. It's not God's joy for us to suffer. To be looking from one place to look for freedom. Because he has, there is power in his word. You have said it already. Go, you yeah, go to the world in Genesis and multiply. But the wicked one on this earth will not allow it. The, 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 the trouble from your household, from your husband's household, from the place of bed, among your friends, in the society, the, the power, the forces will not allow. So Lord, we are praying today. Any woman out there looking for the front of the womb. Father, Lord, by your mercy, by your power, every satanic hand laying on their womb. Take that hand off, let that hand be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah Nisi, blood of Jesus, let your own hands be replaced on their womb and bless their womb in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, open up their womb. Every blockage in their uterus, every blockage in their tube. Father, flush it out with the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, by this time next year, oh Lord, let them be doing tasks giving about their child, their twins, their triplets, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You that you are having trouble in your marriage, I call the blood of Jesus upon your marriage now. I soak your but soak your marriage with the blood of Jesus. No weapon fashion in your marriage shall prosper. Every arrow of the enemy fired into your marriage. Holy Ghost fire. I condemn them. I come against them by the power in the blood of Jesus. You shall enjoy your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover you and your husband with the blood of Jesus. Those of us are seeking for, 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 for job. But the one way that the enemy has laid hands on, on our certificate, I Please, the blood of Jesus upon that certificate now. Be released in the mighty name of Jesus. Go out and exploit it. Go out, oh Lord. Ah, there are some of us that the Lord wants us to be doing business, but we are seeking the office job. Retreat your stay. Pray to God Almighty to open your eyes to say, in the mighty name of Jesus, we we'll cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Father, we are praying today. Answer us in, in, by your time, in your time, in a good time, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We we'll cover ourselves with the blood Lord of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I uh, thank you so much. May the Lord bless us. Thank you for listening. May the Lord bless you. Thank you. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a comment because that is where I learn and know what to do more and more do next uh, uh, on this platform in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want you to please um, be with us share our program we do a program with widows if you know any widow i'm talking when i say widows i need a, a sincere widows that don't have anything not widow that the husband leave things for them i want the one that they are suffering the widows that don't have nothing to eat they don't even know where the next meal is coming from uh that is the widows i'm working with if there is any widows you know around you you just please contact me on our platform leave your comments on the uh, youtube leave your phone number or contact i'll get back to you and uh, we do give things out on my foundation queen amina uh happy hands foundation we do do we give things out to the widows uh christmas i was going to do that one by first week of christmas Mass, first week of december yeah they so were giving out uh, rice and uh, things to them um during 
this first week uh, but this christmas we're gonna give them like um because it's late we just started early this year so we're gonna give them like money out to the window if you know any widow and you sincerely or you want to help us to touch the life of those widow we just contact me and whatever you want to help us with whatever you want to help us with we will sincerely accept it and the lord will bless you and keep you your whole you will not be a widow and you will not be a widower your children will not die and your children will not suffer you will live and train your children uh, it's not the happiness to be a widow but it's just how it is that the lord has we have no power to question the god almighty so if you want to help us on this platform to touch the life of a widow feel free to contact us and you want to work with my ngo to go around for the outreach feel free to contact us we'll work with you too may the lord bless you thank you and if you are a man of god or you have experience wanting or uh, the other in this world i want to share with people to learn so that they will not fall into the the same victim the same trouble you you got to experience from you can call us and we'll bring you on and we discuss and the people will listen and they'll be blessed and you help one or two people not to fall into that same mistake May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye. We'll meet again next week. The Lord bless you. Bye. Thank you so 